Libra, I'm not saying this person is wearing a mask, but they're definitely not showing what's really going on for them in terms of how they feel about certain aspects of this, what's going, what's coming up for them. So let's start your reading. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on. Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, March, <laughs> I forgot just there. You're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course uh, vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is time stamped. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on a camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your stories, on what? As, uh, stick around as sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be just messages throughout this that uh, jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our own reality so just give me a moment i'm just going to take these in and i'll be back hello libra let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side the person that you're dealing with over here but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so I'm not sure. I'm going to start by saying I'm not sure whether you've had history with this person or not, simply because we got the tower and that's slightly confusing for me. I feel like this because it's saying this person feels like something had come and this is the recent past. Something had come crashing down. Something had come crashing down. Something had come, you know, something had come. Something had fallen apart. Um yeah and i'm not sure i'm gonna pull on that i'm gonna pull on that because at the same time they was offering you love You've got the ace there there's an offering of that uh to you i want to clarify let's see if anything comes up shed some light on that ah okay so with whatever happened whatever happened in their life or whatever there's some aspect or element of their life or their world that had come uh, crashing down but with that there was an opportunity for things to turn around it's like it it didn't have that much of an impact on this person because it was like they saw it in a different light like things are turning around for me like they wanted it to happen <laughs> it's got that type of feel to it um yeah and I guess that is the case otherwise they wouldn't been able to offer you that but yeah there was this definitely this offering of love but you felt stuck there was a stuckness to you, unable to move, unable to make a decision. Yeah, unable to make a decision about this, something about this. And that was weighing heavy on you. That was somewhat of a burden for you. Very different to how things are now, though, because at the moment, you, you, the current state is, is you're both kind of building. There's an opportunity to build here. And you're giving, showing up as the six, you're giving, uh, that could be, you know, of your resources, if I can speak, of your resources in some way, shape or form. So that could be finances, that could be time, just your resources, there's this giving, this giving to you. And they're showing up as being, and I say on the surface, they're showing up as being patient understanding compassionate yeah the queen of of uh, cups but there's a challenge around this for you as much as you're at, in this space with this person i feel like maybe i'm not sure why i feel like maybe you thought you couldn't pass up on this opportunity to progress with this person or accept what they was offering because we've got the hyphen and the seven of wands in your challenge position, which talks about this high commitment is still a challenge for you. And I feel like it's tied back to this 
hangman. So you're being very protective, you know, and that's, again, this is in your challenge. So there's a, a, a challenge around you moving into this commitment with this person. Very protective of yourself, uh, Lib Libra. Let me see what's going on here. Not sure whether you're able to see how, you know, whether you can be happy in this or not. I don't think you've worked that out. <clears throat> yeah, you've not come to a decision about that in order for you to move ahead with that. Again, it ties back to this hangman. There is a reason why he was unable to make that decision because you haven't really come to it. And I feel like there was some of this person maybe said or did that, I don't want to say coaxed you into it because ultimately it's our decision, but there was, you weren't ready. You weren't ready, which is why you're still being very protective of yourself, which is why you're having challenges around this high commitment or this commitment. That could be marriage. That could be, you know, whatever stages, apply it, apply it where it fits. But again, on the surface, this person is showing up as being very uh, patient and understanding and compassionate. But their challenge is, is they're finding it difficult to lay a foundation with you. And they're impatient. We've got the Knight of Swords in their challenge. So that's a lack of patience. You know, the Knight of Swords speaks about rushing, fast movement, reckless type of energy. But that's in their challenge. So they're finding it difficult to be patient with you, regardless of what they're showing up or how they're showing up. Let's say that. I'm not sure what the rush is. I'm not sure how long you've been dating this person uh, for a while. Uh, <laughs> for a while. I'm not sure how long you've been dating this person, how long you've been with this person, how long the situation has been, you know, playing out. Got the Three of Cups there. I feel like this person might assume that this lack of progress from your end is due to maybe someone else, a third party. And if that's not someone that's physically present, it's someone that you might still be energetically tied to in some way, shape or form. Um, again, going back to the hangman, not being able to make a decision, being stuck. Yeah. The fact that this person's got the eight of swords on top of the um, knight, you know, it's like that, that not being able to move at a pace that suits them, that's comfortable for them, is causing them to feel a bit trapped as well. They're not going to show you that. They're not showing you that at all. In fact, I would go so far as to say, you know, this person could be pretty good at hiding that fact. Yeah, as I say that, hiding that fact. <laughs> We've got the seven of wands there. Yeah. But what's interesting is, is you're wanting success. You've got the six. You're wanting victory in something. At the same time, you know, ending of something. So that could be this past energy that could be cropping up for you, for some of you. Yeah, you're wanting success in achieving, turning the page. It's like you just want to move on and enter into a new chapter. But there's something that's causing you to feel... that's causing you to find it quite difficult to make a decision around this higher commitment and actually not being so protective of yourself. That's what you're wanting to put an end to. That's what's going on there. That's where that 10 is coming from. Wise. Let me pull on that as well. Wise. Yeah, in order for you to change and gain some form of uh, difference in perspective. Yeah. This person wants to take a risk on this. <laughs> you know, like I said, this person is battling with themselves when it comes to patience, etc., etc. They're not going to show you that, but they most definitely are. I'm not saying that they're wearing a mask, but, you know, they do have... Yeah, they, they're good at maybe composing themselves. 
Yeah, they're wanting to just move on. They're wanting to progress this relationship, ultimately. They're wanting to take a risk on this. Uh, they're wanting to move down a new path, do something different, you know, and let go of the past and move forward, ultimately. Move forward, ultimately. So, you know, is this person's lack of patience, because we really know what's going on deep down inside, you know, this feeling of lack of patience and being entrapped by that, is that going to come up for them? <laughs> is that going to, you know, start to bubble to the surface and cause them to, you know, maybe take a, a different turn or, yeah, that's yet to see. But as it stands, as it stands, you're wanting to deal with what is going on for you in terms of this higher commitment that you're not at the moment ready to take finding it difficult this challenge around that for you and is this person gonna like i already mentioned so hopefully this has given you some form of clarity for those of you who don't know i do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and i shall see you next week bye